Hans Kim, everybody. This is Hans Kim. This is Hans Kim. This is Hans Kim. What's up? I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the space between my eyebrows and my eyes is very large. You know, right here, and my eyes start right there. I'm one of the few people that can express anger and surprise with aviator sunglasses on. <laughs> it almost got me a role on Top Gun too. No goose. Damn Russians. <laughs> Thank you. I think that the penis is the superior peeing mechanism. The only side effects are rape <laughs> and murder. But other than that, the penis is superior. Um, I uh, do not give a fuck about polar bears. Sorry, polar bears, I don't give a fuck about you. Sorry you evolved the camouflage against something that melts. Try the sky or water next time. Some helpful tips for the polar bears. All right, thank you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Hans. Fuck you guys. <laughs> oh, shit, he's mad, folks. Got a special treat for y'all. One of the greatest regulars in the history of the show. An absolute fucking phenom. A sensation, if you will. This is a brand new minute from the one and the only Cam Patterson, everybody. Yeah, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm living my dream right now, man. This shit, the best shit ever happened to me. Yeah. I, I'm doing a lot of shit I wish I could have did as a kid. Like, I'm, 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 I almost got to be able to fuck a porn star a couple of days ago. I didn't, and I blame Uncle Laser fully for that bullshit. <laughs> we, was in, we was in LA, and there were three porn stars came to the show, and they wanted to fuck, like, immediately. They was like, we going to suck y'all dicks long as we get back to the house. So all you had to do was get the bitches back to the house. That's it. All you had to do is get the bitches back to the house. I was finna get the condoms and the liquor, and then I was gonna get the bitches at the house, right? We get to the house, and Uncle Laser there is, is there with no bitches. It's no holes at all. It's an Uncle Laser in a deep ass voice, and Dick Hawk, he popped the exit for no reason. <laughs> so now he just ready to fuck something. He just hard as shit, three niggas. It's me, him, and three other dudes around, right? No bitches. So I see the bitches drive off, and I'm naive. I'm a young guy. I said, oh, shit. Are they finna go park? He was like, no, they leaving. They're getting out of here. And I'm like, why are they leaving? And he went, well, the, the, the porn star, uh, we was in the car. We was kissing. That's crazy. This bitch sucked dick for a living. That's insane, right? <laughs> like, we was in the car, and we were kissing. We was kissing a lot and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And out of nowhere, she got a text from her dad, and he said he was finna kill himself. And her whole demeanor changed. And I want to tell y'all something, man. I hope that nigga is dead. <laughs> I hope he is fucking dead, dog. That's my time. I love it. I fucking love it. That story originally came out in one of the interviews that yeah. we did, which I love. My goodness, what a night we've had so far. Everyone have fun tonight? <laughs> well... As you may know, there's only one way to end an episode like this. It's with the Hall of Famer, the guy that's done it more than absolutely anybody ever in this show's history. It's been five years of him gracing our stages all around the country, all around, uh, all around everywhere. Sold out shows his entire career. Every single show he's ever done has been a sold out Kill Tony. He's only known us during the great era of thriving and he's a big part of it. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Memphis Strangler, the Tijuana Tarantula, the Raleigh Rodeo Riot, the Bulgarian Ball Hammer, the uh, uh, Big Red Machine. This is indeed William Montgomery, everybody. <laughs> That dude needs to keep the fucking Olive Garden jokes in the restaurant, dumbass. What the fuck was he thinking? <laughs> also, y'all will be happy to know the idiot who couldn't really sing that well who called this show a low-rent American Idol. I literally killed him out. 
Uh, in the thing back there after the fuck. What a fucking pussy that idiot was. Holy shit. You were nice to him. Oh, and also it has been super tense in the green room. Hans Kim won't even look at... I don't know what happened up here tonight, but he's pacing around up there. He's not making eye contact with anybody. Last week, an 85-year-old man stabbed his wife to death for messing up his pancakes. So what's the fucking problem with that? <laughs> Stupid old bitch can't be messing up. I can't get pancakes. Fuck. <laughs> I saw a fat woman described as a plus-size influencer, and I couldn't help but wonder, what is she influencing people to do? Buy more candy? <laughs> Which couches are best to sleep on? <laughs> it's like, we get it, bitch. You're not moving a lot. <laughs> okay, that's my time, Tony. Thank you. William Montgomery. Hell yeah. I don't know who to look at anymore! <laughs> but I wish I did! William Montgomery, okay. ladies and gentlemen. We did it again. Another episode of Kill Tony.